Hello friends and fellow investors. Welcome to my channel Weekend Investor. Today we are going to be talking about a special company, Aqua Bounty Technologies. It's a company with the two things I love most in the world, salmon and disruptive company. I just love salmon. I love speaking about it. I love eating it. I eat steaks grilled. I eat it smoked, what, what, whatever kind of salmon you give me, I will eat it. <laughs> but first, before we continue to the company, I got to tell you a funny story. Uh, me and my wife, back then uh, still girlfriend, we were, talking, uh, we were taking a vacation to Germany. We were in Munich and we were in uh, this fancy hotel and they had salmon for breakfast, of course. You know what I was eating? Salmon, smoked salmon. And I ate it so much that they ran out of salmon. And I was like, before we leave, I got to write it on their recommendation list. I just got to write it. I wrote more salmon at breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I love salmon just so much. So, okay, let's continue to the company. <clears throat> now, they are disruptive because they are uh, introducing new technology to farming fish. Uh, their technology allows them to, to have land-based fish farms for salmon, which is really, really innovative and not done before. Now, most of the world's population eats protein, meaning meat and fish. So the demand is increasing rapidly, I mean rapidly and all of our oceans are almost depleted so they're helping the environment but they're also helping the fish and their fish are high quality high quality the best quality you can have because they don't use antibiotics their farms are not overpopulated like you see in many movies uh, on youtube and they have no contaminants, meaning their water is pure. Uh, they're fed by pure food because now the, the seawater is so much contaminated that all the fish that we eat from it is contaminated by mer mercury, silver, um, biological, and so on. You have the Fukushima plant uh, leaking nuclear radiation so they're saying that it's, it's in limited quantity but you know limited quantities you eat fish every day you get a little every day then you die from it you know <laughs> i would rather eat high quality fish that uh, that doesn't have any of it <clears throat> so what are their financial status last quarter they lost about a little over three million uh, that's 1 million per month in loss but their prayer revenue meaning they have not yet uh, produced the fish they're selling so here is the catch in this quarter they are going to start selling the fish because their farms are now uh, fully operational and they have now the fish that they're going to start selling and their, fi uh, their, their farms are located near near the near the distributors so that people are going to get fresh high quality fish quickly and because they are so close they will have very little in transport costs because fish are one of the higher uh, higher cost to transport among goods because you need refrigeration the, you need speed because they need to be delivered quickly from one place to another because otherwise they go bad you can't eat it so these are all pluses and we will see now they okay so today they had a secondary offer it's not bad because we we can sort secondary offerings on two sides bad ones good ones now the bad ones companies do them to keep the lights on in their offices because they're nearing bankruptcy 
they don't get any, they cannot take any depth more on them and it is the only way for the company to survive. Now Aqua Bounty did today's secondary offering to raise money for new land, for new fish farms, which will down the road fuel sales. They will also invest in sales teams, sales presentations to, to capture more distributors, more customers. So this will all drive uh, further catalysts for the stock price increase down the road. Now, like I said, they are pre-revenue, they are disruptive, so they are more high risk because they have to get a lot of things done right. But if they get them right, we are talking about a multi-billion, billion, billion company because people eat fish every day and fish are disappearing from our oceans and they are providing a way for us to eat safe fish in a safe environment, not contaminating the environment. <clears throat> so they only got 11 million in debt, so they are not encumbered by debt. They like to finance uh, their their projects via public uh, secondary offerings of stock. So there is a little bit of risk down the road that they will do another one and they have to open a new farm. But if they get the things right in this quarter, we are looking at a two to three multipliers of the stock price. So we should be okay if they get it right. Now. What is the most important thing? Institutional, institutional investors love this stock. I mean, love it. More than 60% is owned exclusively by institution. They, if, you look at, if you look at it like that, the first ones to buy are insiders. The second ones are institutional investors. Then there are professional traders. And the last one are retail traders. So every time, we get a company that has high institutional investor ownership. We have to look what they know because we cannot get the information that they have access to because they're big players with big money, with lots of friends, meaning they get a little inside information there, a little inside information there, and they're like, oh, no problem, I'm gonna buy a few million stocks just like that. And when we see high concentration of institutions, it means that this company is doing something right. So this way, I see today's deep or secondary offering as an excellent buying opportunity because the price touched uh, the secondary offering price and it rebounded about 10%. It was in pre-market, it was down 30%. Now it is down about 20% around the $7 mark. But I think we can only go up from here because they will now have about 100 million in cash, meaning they are fully financed for the next 12 months. And they have the money to buy new land, uh, produce new fish farms, and they're going to start getting revenue this quarter from the fish, from the fish farms that they uh, that they made earlier in the year or last year now who are some of the biggest institutional investors there are arc investment who is currently the hottest atf on the world everybody who who knows kathy woods knows that she's an exceptional investor she invested in tesla before it was cool she put the the price target for tesla at two two thousand and five hundred dollars and this year it uh, achieved it and she made massive profits and everyone is looking what she is doing and she is buying this stock the second one is randall j kirk who is a very renowned investor in biotechnology in pharmaceutical uh, space so we got two big names that are buying this stock that they holding it they are not selling, selling it and they are just buying, 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 buying. So I feel with confidence that this here today is an 
excellent, I mean, excellent uh, entry point. We will continue to see down the road where it leads us. I will do an update on this uh, on this company because I am very intrigued where it will go. So let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this stock? Will it go up? What are your price targets? I think it will go next year to $20. That is my price target. So let me know yours. And if you like the content, click the like button subscribe, comment. Thank you.